The announcement by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry that they are resigning their royal duties surprised not only British subjects, but practically the whole world. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are not the first to make a serious decision to give up royal privileges. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel stay tuned, interesting and unusual stories are waiting for you. Princess Noriko is the middle daughter of the late Prince Takamado. The girl grew up in a royal family, familiarizing herself with the traditions and customs of the Imperial House of Japan, graduated from a prestigious university in Tokyo, and actively delved into the affairs of the family, attending official events with other monarchs and fulfilling her obligations. However, everything changed in 2014 when Princess Noriko married the son of the head priest of the Izumo Grand Shrine, Seng Hunimaro, whom she had met a few years earlier while visiting the shrine. According to the rules of the Imperial Family of Japan, when its member marries not with a member of the aristocratic family, he is automatically stripped of his royal title and all privileges, while receiving monetary compensation of $1 million. Despite being stripped of her title and the displeasure of her family, Princess Noriko chose love and married her beloved, with whom she has been happily married for seven years, helping him and his family in the spiritual enlightenment of the citizens. Princess Martha Louise from childhood sought to avoid the increased attention of the press and fans. In interviews, the representative of the royal family of Norway has repeatedly admitted that she dreamed of an ordinary life, not about titles and regalia. In 2001, the princess married Ari Ben, a Norwegian writer and screenwriter, whose love for him was more important than her status as a member of the royal family. It was then that Martha Louise made an important decision and gave up the title, Her Highness, as well as her annual allowance, which was $1 million. Fifteen years later, the couple broke up, but this did not force the princess to return to her former life. On the contrary, Martha Louise continued to be active, engaging in a variety of initiatives in the field of education and enlightenment. And in 2019, Martha Louise met her lover, the popular Hollywood shaman, Derek Verrett. The couple traveled to cities in Norway and Denmark, holding seminars and lectures on spiritual development together. However, fans were confused by the title of the lover's course, which was called The Shaman and the Princess. She was accused of speculating on the royal title, and the Norwegian princess was quick to apologize. Martha Louise not only offered a sincere apology to the public, but also officially renounced the use of the title as part of her business activities, proving once again that her self-fulfillment is more important than privilege. And in 2022, she officially resigned her royal powers but retained the title of princess. Princess Ayako is the second member of the Japanese royal family on our list who chose her position and regalia over love. Princess Ayako, sister of ex-princess Noriko Senj, followed in her relative's footsteps and married Ki Maria in 2018, giving up her royal title and right to inherit the throne. The lover of the princess became a wealthy Japanese entrepreneur, in marriage with whom Ayako had a son in the fall of 2019. Currently, the young family happily lives in Tokyo, and, according to the ex-princess herself, does not regret the decision. Princess Madeleine, the youngest daughter of King Carl Gustaf of Sweden, did not formally renounce her title, but still violated dynastic laws. In 2013, Princess Madeleine married American businessman Christopher O'Neill, with whom she began to live in New York, where she supervised the activities of a charitable foundation, while her husband was engaged in business. According to Swedish law, the spouse of a member of the royal family can only receive the title if he or she renounces commercial activities and also if he or she resides in the country. O'Neill did not fulfill either of the two points and therefore the spouse of Princess Madeleine did not become a Swedish citizen and did not receive the title His Highness. In addition, lawyers warned that the couple's children would also not be able to become heirs to the throne if Princess Madeleine and Christopher O'Neill did not move to Sweden. However, Things changed in 2019 not only for Madeleine's children, but also for her nephews when the King of Sweden announced that his five grandchildren were disinherited from the throne and titles. Prince Friso, son of Queen Beatrix and Klaus von Ansberg, also proved that love comes first for him and gave up his title for his common-law sweetheart. In 2003, a representative of the Dutch royal family announced an engagement to Mabel Wismith, who did not belong to the royal family and was also involved in several major scandals related to her friend Klaus Bruinsma, who was the head of one of the largest drug cartels in the country. Despite the displeasure of her family and the public, as well as the constantly circulating rumors in the press about Mabel's dark past, the lovers were married a year later. 
According to the dynastic laws of the Netherlands, in the case of this marriage, Friso was deprived of the title Prince of the Netherlands and the right to inherit the throne. Instead, the son of Queen Beatrix was given the title of Count. During their 10-year marriage, the couple had two daughters, Luana and Zaria. Despite the warnings of the prince's relatives, his relationship with his wife was exemplary throughout the time they were together. Unfortunately, the couple's happiness was shattered by a fatal accident. In 2013 Friso tragically died after being caught in an avalanche at a ski resort in Austria. After the death of her husband, Mabel Wiss Smith fully devoted herself to raising her daughters and tries not to get in the field of view of journalists and the public. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot of interesting stories ahead.